Hi guys, this is Sansan Mushi, and this is going to be a pick a card energy reading. Um, it's the full moon tonight, full moon in Libra. Uh, this is a pick a card reading on what is going on. Yeah, this is a pick a card reading on what is happening <laughs> this is going to be intended for all sorts of things um, love life career life inner life outer life yeah we're just going to focus on those kinds of topics so go ahead and choose a reading reading number one um reading number two or reading number three go ahead take some deep breaths Just choose a reading that calls out to you. Um, you can listen to one, two, or all three messages in any order and at any time. Um, sometimes they, the different readings just answer different aspects and they all resonate with you. Um, maybe sometimes uh, just there's one that really resonates more so than the others and, and so forth. So really just trust your intuition on whatever you want to do. And yeah, it's dark out here. So you can't really see any of the cards when I pull them, but yeah, go ahead and click the timestamps that are in the description box below to get to your reading and I will see you guys over there. All right. For those of you who chose reading number one, we're going to look at what is going on in general in, yeah, what is going on with love life? What is going on? career life what is going on in your inner world and what is going on in the outer world so for general we get the page of swords not that you can see it <laughs> but we're getting the page of swords energy and to me this is saying what is going on in general is you are growing you are learning at this time and it might be frustrating. It's like you're trying to figure out what the lesson is. You're trying to understand. And so that's what's going on in general. What's going on in your love life? We get the justice card. So actually things are really balancing out when it comes to your love life. So I get mixed with that general energy that it might still be very confusing right now. But things are balancing out. So things are really shifting for the better so in general what is going on is you're trying to brace for this big change but it's like you feel like you don't have the tools that you need for these changes but at the same time you're like growing into these tools for these changes hope that's making sense um what's going on with career life we get the four of swords so in career life you're kind of just playing it safe it's very stable um peaceful and moving at um a very steady calm pace so like i feel like career life is kind of like a safe place if anything um so that's what's going on with career life so if you feel like it's just kind of not so not so much like curveballs or anything that's a pretty good thing it's a pretty solid energy is what i'm getting you're kind of thinking here and there about career life, kind of wondering, uh, contemplating on if you should work a bit more, a bit, a bit less, um, maybe contemplating on if you should add some like hours in or cut back on hours, stuff like that, or like shifting to a different situation for career. It's kind of like you're very safely and calmly sort of just thinking about your career life. So that's what I'm getting. Um, what is going on with your inner world? we get the page of pentacles that matches the page of swords so in general uh what's going on in your inner world is you are receiving this like understanding of where you're at in the physical world so whatever's going on with your inner world you're working on letting go the stuff on your inner world that's not serving you. 
what's going on in your outer world, we get the Ace of Wands, a new beginning. So there's a lot of good stuff going on here, actually. So I'm just getting that at the time that I upload this, the energy was, is going to be in quite your favor because these are all very positive cards. So this is what's going on. And a message to help you with your situation right now. We get the Five of Pentacles. Um, and so the message to help you with your situation right now is that um, to know that the seasons are changing. I'm going to pull one more card. We get the Nine of Wands. Yeah, in terms of a message when it comes with you, to you and feeling kind of shut out from certain manifestations that you've wanted or feeling like being shut out in the cold or punished or hurt for any sort of reason, I'm just getting like um, a message to heal from this time is just see that as like some time for, um, it's like, yeah, really evaluate on that energy, just know. Whatever's balancing out, it's not so that you just stay shut out and uh, things are going to balance in a way for you where, where I, I really feel like some sort of reconciliation from this Five of Pentacles is coming. So you're feeling it with your inner world. And you're feeling it generally, but I get the feeling you're not like 100% seeing it. So this could very well connect to love life. But remember, we get the justice card for love life. So it's really balancing out whatever is going on at this time. So your advice for this is to keep, keep recovering, keep healing, keep awakening. Don't stop your awakening process. This is what I'm getting. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Yeah, and that this is really coming together. So hope that resonates. I'm sending so much love and light for those of you who chose reading number one. Um, and just for the general message with that page of swords, just try to get out there, perhaps in the nature. That could very well help. Grounding yourself with earth, with, re with reality physical things could very well help you changing of your surroundings could really help yeah all right peace out all right reading number two um, we're going to look at what is going on in general we're going to look at what is going on in your love life what's going on in your career life what's going on with your inner world and what's going on with your outer world and we're going to just pull some advice cards for you at this time. So what's going on in general? We get the three of pentacles. So what I'm getting here is that in general, you are really working with what you've got. You're very much in a supportive teamwork energy. You're not fighting the energy. You're going with the flow. You're really trying to work together with those that you feel are your allies. So that's really positive. What's going on in your love life? We've got the Seven of Swords. So everything is not quite what it seems when it comes to your love life. So if you're kind of wondering what's going on in your love life, you 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 kind of hit the mark. Yeah, it's not what it seems. Things are going to balance out in a way much better than, than what it looks like as of right now. Um, you have too much information or another individual in the situation has too much information that you or the other is holding on to. And so this is going to balance itself out and that's going to just direct that energy towards yourself for right now on how you can let go of this deceptive energy on your side. But, but really, I, I feel like this could very well just be the energy so that what's going on with love life is, yeah, you're not seeing the whole picture. So, all right, what is going on with your career life? We get the Empress. You're really nurturing yourself through your career. You're really putting a lot of love and, and very healthy energy and nourishment into career life. It's really thriving right now. There's a lot of room for growth with it. So it's, it's going really good. It's very connected with the general energy. 
So let's see what's going on in your inner world. We've got the Six of Cups. In the inner world, yep, this could be what's really confusing because with the love life, we got the Seven of Swords. What's going on with your inner life is your Six of Cups energy, which is perhaps feeling that strong connection emotionally and it's not really adding up. So you're trying to figure out what to do about that. What's going on in your outer world? We've got the Six of Pentacles. So we got two sixes. Your inner world and outer world are balanced. They're matching. And so it looks like mentally, like in the headspace, in the communication area, things are not matching. They're not balanced. But in your heart space, in the physical space, things are very balanced. Because you're a balanced individual right now. It, whether it felt like that or not, I think the thing that's throwing you off is the love energy reading part what's going on in your love life. So let's see what the advice is for you. We get the, this came out as the advice for reading one, the five of pentacles, also clarified with the justice card. And that was the, the love message for reading one, actually. Like what was going on in love life was the justice card. So what I'm getting is your advice is trust that this separation is just meant to be. If you're feeling any sort of distance or if you're feeling shut out by anyone just know that whatever happens let it go keep working the best you can on letting this go um you're getting closer and closer to whatever you're feeling in your inner world with your heart you really are things are balancing out and this separation is coming together into union um but you need to let it go you need to withdraw and move on and accept this Accept whatever the reality is that you're seeing in your outer world. So. And I'm just kind of getting like, keep believing your path. Keep going on what you're going with your journey. Um, you know, you still have this inner knowing about this connection. But I'm just getting right now, like the connection's not doing anything and it's not going anywhere. So it's kind of like, just let it go. And kind of live your own individual best life and just kind of wish the best you can and yes whatever you're experiencing with this person you actually don't deserve that kind of treatment um and of course it has nothing to do with the other person it's just what do you want to experience on your journey you know so it's okay to be hopeful that maybe things will come together with this person someday but i'm just getting Right now, you deserve peace of mind, and it's kind of like you've been trying that, and it's like really challenging for you to get this fresh start, but I'm getting, keep up the good work, keep figuring your way out of this, um, what it means to let go for you, um, keep healing. There seems to be divine planning going on when it comes to you and this connection, so have hope, but trust where you're at right now and express your conf conflict express your pain express your confusion um, in whatever way you desire deserve to you know whatever way you choose to and if that quote-unquote messes with your chances of coming together with whatever risk those chances because then if those things don't accept you for your pure truth those things were not meant for you. You deserve something that really accepts you in all forms of truth. I am seeing the four of wands. So you are coming together with who you're meant to come together. You cannot mess that up because you deserve forgiveness. You deserve whoever is meant for you to accept you fully. So yeah, it's kind of like, yeah, maybe you'll react. Maybe you'll get triggered. Um, and that'll be a real test for the other person if if they really are in alignment with your journey. So I, I get a really good vibe about all of this situation that you're thinking about. And it's, it's up to you of what you want to believe in with what this journey means. So love and light, guys. That was reading number two. Peace out. All right, reading number three. What is going on? So we're going to be looking at what is going on in general what's going on with your love life, what's going on with your career life, your inner life, your outer life, and then some advice cards. So what's going on in general? 
we get the strength card. And it came out reversed, oddly enough. And I'm getting... That is like you're letting, in general, you're letting go of all the hard work. All that, not hard as in you're giving up, but like letting go of all the the efforts of like trying to figure this out. You're just letting go of, of difficulty. You're letting go of resistance. You're, it's like it's too hard to continue persevering at this rate. So you're like, I'm just going to let go and just give in to the infinite realities, infinite possibilities, give in to the, the energy of the full moon right now. This is, it's just too painful trying to hold on to stuff right now. So that's what's going on in general. What's going on in love life? We got the lover's card. So love is going on with love life. Love is in the air. There's a lot of potential here right now. Whether you're able to see it or not, it's in divine order is what I'm getting. What is going on with career life? We get the four of pentacles. So for those of you who chose reading three, your love life, you have a really clear choice to make. And then for those of you just reading three for career life, it looks like you could really ease up on career right now, relax and let a bit of that go and kind of maybe gearing yourself towards more emotional energy right now could do you some good is what I'm getting with these cards so far. And then what's going on in your inner life? We've got the queen of pentacles internally you're really finding a deep sense of appreciation for where you are so internally there's a lot of peace is what i'm getting or you are fighting for trying to find that inner peace kind of one or the other for some of you for reading three for your outer life we're getting the knight of wands yeah it looks like it's you needing to execute some sort of decision or action you might be holding back from both love and career in some ways with love you might need to push more into that um, energy space and with career you might need to ease up a bit on that space so let's look at your advice cards so we get the f this came out all three times for all three readings for the advice the five of pentacles there's a strong message coming out for everyone that the advice is to let go of that feeling out in the cold mentality and to kind of feel like you're coming together with things and not feeling le left out and alone so everyone's kind of feeling shut out somehow or everyone's feeling like you shut someone out one or the other, you know, or both for all sorts of things. And it's like everyone just like feel trust that if you keep on going, keep trusting with whoever you've made these decisions with, you have feelings of who you want to come back into reconciliation with trust in those connections then there's a bunch of weird ones that like are super easy for you to like be around but like you don't want to be so you're like choosing to step away and those are the ones that it's like hard to stay away from and then there's the connections that you really want to come together with and it's like hard to come together with it's like keep staying away from the connections that it's hard to stay away from keep believing in coming together with the connections that it's really hard to come together with I hope that's making sense. It's like truly this is an energy we've all been in um, for like all of Mercury retrograde and throughout April so far. And this is like we are so close to this making sense. Um, these energies making it difficult for us to stay out like the energies that we want to kind of drift from that it's feeling so hard for us to pull away from. It's like we're so close to getting out of that attachment area with those individuals that we want to step away from so it's like keep going all right and then the second card we get is the justice this is the same combo from reading two five of pentacles and justice so then the message in terms of love life is also trust in making things right when it comes to any sort of separation feeling with love life trust that making things right with that is going to be helpful for you or if you feel that you're shut out trust that things are going to balance out when it comes to love life and that it's going to come together. And with whatever that resonated with. If it wasn't love life. Like career life or general life. Or inner or outer life. Any of those aspects. Trust that whatever you're feeling apart from. That it's all coming together. So. Very cool energy. I'm getting these are literally. Everyone's going through their own specific. Challenges in their own inner demons. This is kind of a time that we're all sort of facing all of our inner darkness and we're like whoa where did all this inner darkness come from and spirit's kind of saying like this is what's being brought to light with the full moon actually 
Um, let me see if you guys can see it. It's a really cool, it's very pretty, and there's like a rainbow aura around it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, that's kind of what's going on. So hope this reading resonated with you guys. I'm feeling a lot better now that I like chose. So it was so funny. I was trying to meditate. And it was meditation that was like getting me really more in this like negative space for myself. I think for a while I'm going to be doing me guided meditations because I think I'm just at a place right now where I don't know how to navigate internally, which is very weird because usually I am really good at navigating internally. And I think it's because I was born on the new moon and full moon energy always kind of makes me feel in opposition with myself, even though it's so powerful at the same time. So the full moon is for some reason for me, it's not really the time I like to meditate. I really like to meditate more so around the new moon. It's kind of something I'm picking up lately. Also, um, I'm a water sign and um, things are very heightened. So with all of the heavy shifting, I kind of tune in to, to, the, to certain dark frequencies at the same time. So I got to really be careful of that. Of that. And um, this kind of always happens during the full moon. It always also is a very beautiful thing because then I release and it's, it turns out really well anyways. So even though I meditated, it turned out really well for me. So yeah, lots of love and light, guys. I'm going to go now. Have a good night. And I will see you all another time. Peace out.